Hi, I'm Josh from eSpares. If you're experiencing temperature control issues with your fridge, the problem is likely to be due to a faulty thermostat. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the thermostat on this under-the-counter fridge. And in this case, I'm using a Zanussi ZRT163W, although the process is going to be largely the same for other types of under-the-counter fridges. To carry out this repair, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a crosshead screwdriver, some pliers, and your replacement thermostat. And obviously, make sure you get the correct replacement thermostat for your particular model of fridge. Now to access the thermostat, we need to remove this cover here. And the first thing to do is to remove the temperature control knob. So to remove the knob, I'm just going to place a flathead screwdriver behind it and gently lever it off. And underneath, we have the shaft of the thermostat. I'm just going to remove that by loosening the nut with the pliers. And finally, I'm going to remove this screw hole bung here and undo the screw behind it. Now having done all of this, this assembly is now loose, so I can just slide it forward and very gently pull it off the wall. So now that I've got the assembly released from the wall of the fridge, I can remove this cover on the top and underneath we have the thermostat. So I'm just going to push the thermostat out of the space to get that loose and then take a photo of the connections to remind myself what they are when I'm refitting the new thermostat. And now I've done that, I can proceed to remove all the spade connectors from the thermostat. And bear in mind that some of these connectors might have barbs on them, which require you to push down with a screwdriver as you release them. So now I've removed all the spade connectors from the thermostat, I next need to remove this capillary from the wall of the fridge. And bear in mind that in some fridges, this capillary might actually be attached to something at the other end. So check that it will come out freely without having to apply any excess force. So now I've got the old thermostat out, I'm just gonna remove this sleeve from the capillary before taking my new thermostat and unwinding it and then placing the sleeve over the top. And once I've done that, this can just be gently fed back into the fridge. So now I've fed the capillary back into the fridge, I can reconnect the new thermostat using my photo as a reference. Okay, so now the final connection is in place. I can replace the thermostat back in the hole. And I'm just going to screw the nut onto the shaft from the other side to just hold it in place. And then replace any cables where they should be, making sure none are trapped. Before finally replacing the cover over the thermostat and locating the entire assembly back onto the wall. Now I've reattached the assembly, I just need to replace the screw bung before finally replacing the knob back on the shaft, being very careful to make sure that they're completely aligned, like so. And that's it, one new thermostat fitted. Spares for this fridge and a range of other appliances are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.